Welcome to the Girl Gourmet Cake Bakery instructional video. This is the Cake Bakery set. It comes with one Cake Bakery base, one gel decorator, two gel cartridges and cartridge plugs, one gel icing, one microwave baker and lid, one utensils holder, one mixing bowl, one decorating wheel, one cake mold, four fondant mixes, one pack of sprinkles, one cartridge cleaning brush, four recipe cards, two cake mixes, four fondant cutters, one working mat, one rolling pin, one measuring spoon, and one spatula and cutting tool. To make your own Girl Gourmet cake, first, pour the contents of a new cake mix packet into the mixing bowl. Using the large end of the spoon, add one spoonful of water to the mix. Then, stir thoroughly with the narrow end of the spatula until the mix is smooth and can be stretched. If the mix is too dry, add a spoonful of water using the small end of the spoon. Next, spray the cake mold thoroughly with cooking spray. Then pour a portion of the mixed cake batter into the large cake mold until it reaches the fill level line. Continue by pouring the remaining cake batter into the small cake mold. Make sure the mix is level after it is poured into the molds. Next, insert the cake mold into the microwave baker. Place the lid on the microwave baker and microwave on high power for 30 seconds. Using pot holders, remove the microwave baker from the microwave and place it on the countertop to cool for at least one minute or until it's cool to the touch. Once cooled, open the lid to check if the cake is cooked. If there are any shiny, wet-looking spots on the cake, reseal the microwave baker and put it back in the microwave for 10 more seconds. When the cake is finished baking, remove the mold from the microwave baker and turn the mold upside down on a covered countertop to remove the cake. To cover your freshly baked cake with fondant, choose any color fondant packet and pour one packet into the bowl. Then add one spoonful of water with the small end of the spoon. Stir thoroughly with the narrow end of the spatula until the mix has a doughy texture. It's very important not to add too much water or the fondant will be too sticky. If your fondant has too much water, you can either add more fondant mix or add confectionery sugar. It also helps to play with the fondant in your hands before rolling it out. Once you have the right consistency, place the fondant onto the rolling mat. Then use the rolling pin to evenly spread the fondant out until about 1 8 inch thick. Next, place the 1 8 inch thick fondant over the large cake and mold the fondant around the cake using your hands. Use the cutting tool to trim off any excess fondant and place the excess fondant onto the working mat. Now repeat these steps for the smaller cake. Then place the cake with the finished fondant to the side. To decorate your fondant covered cakes with fondant shapes, pick a different color fondant and repeat steps to mix and roll your fondant to correct consistency and thickness. Use the fondant cutter to cut out shapes from the second half fondant and apply the shapes to both cakes. You can refer to the recipe cards for more decorating examples. To decorate your freshly baked cake with gel icing, start by opening one of the gel tubes. Next, squeeze the gel into the gel cartridge and fill it to the fill level line. Then replace the tube cap after use. Continue by inserting the cartridge plug into the open end of the gel cartridge and push down until it is leveled with the end of the gel cartridge. Then insert the gel cartridge into the gel decorator and press the lever down to secure the gel cartridge. Place the cake decorating wheel onto its base, then move the power switch at the base to the low or high speed position depending on your preference. Rotate the decorating wheel to turn the cake while applying the gel icing. When finished, move the power switch to the off position. Finish decorating the cake with rainbow sprinkles and cover the cake with the cake cover when finished. 